Okay, in this video we're going to look at uh, the technique of variation of parameters to solve a second order linear non-homogeneous differential equation. So let's recall the general strategy. So if we have this uh, differential equation, y double prime plus p of x times y prime plus q of x times y equals g of x, we have a general solution given by this um, equation. So we have y equals c1 y1 plus c2 y2, and I should say that this is the, the solution to the homogeneous, the corresponding homogeneous differential equation. So c1 and c2 are constants, y1 and y2 are linearly independent functions. And then we have v1, y1, plus v2, y2, and this is the particular part of the solution. And v1 and v2 are functions given by the following. So v1 is this negative antiderivative of g of x, y2 over the Ronskian, and v2 is g of x, y1 over the Ronskian, its antiderivative. And just as a reminder, the Ronskian of y1, y2 is the determinant of this matrix red column-wise, y1, y1 prime, y2, y2 prime. Okay, good. So this is the general strategy. Now let's look at it uh, with a particular example. So let's look at the following. Y, one, y double prime minus 4y prime plus 4y equals e to the 2x over x squared. Great. So as you can see in the solution strategy, finding a solution to the corresponding homogeneous differential equation is super important. So let's do that. So let's look at the homogeneous differential equation. So that'll be given by y double prime minus 4y prime plus 4y equals zero. So by the theory of homogeneous second order linear differential equations with constant coefficients, we know it's important to look at a corresponding polynomial u squared minus 4u plus 4 equals 0. So find its roots and notice in this case we get u minus 2 squared equals 0. So we get a second order root uh, at u equals 2. Fantastic. So that tells us that our corresponding homogeneous solution is as follows. So it will be c1 e to the 2x plus c2x e to the 2x. So in other words, y1 equals e to the 2x and y2 equals e to the, sorry, equals x e to the 2x. Great. And so, since, since it'll be useful for several parts of uh, where we're going, I'm going to go ahead and calculate the Ronskian. So the Ronskian of y1, y2 will be given as follows. So it'll be the determinant of e to the 2x, 2 e to the 2x, so I'm doing this by column, x e to the 2x, and here we have 2x e to the 2x plus e to the 2x. Good, using uh, the uh, product rule. Okay, so now if we uh, take the determinant of this, notice we're going to get 2x e to the 4x plus e to the 4x minus 2x e to the 4x. So these two bits will cancel and we're just left with e to the 4x. Great. Now we can go ahead and calculate our functions v1 and v2. So let's see, we have v1 is negative, the antiderivative of g of x times y2. So let's see, see what we have there. So we have e to the 2x over x squared times y2. So that is multiplied by x e to the 2x. And now this is all going to be divided by the Ronskian, so that will be e to the 4x. 4x dx. So we have the following. So now notice we have some simplification here. The e to the 2x times e to the 2x in the numerator will cancel the e to the 4x in the denominator. This x in the numerator will cancel this x in the denominator, the x squared in the denominator down to x to the first power, and we're left with negative, the antiderivative of 1 over x dx, so that is negative natural log of x. Great. Now let's calculate v2. 
So we have V2 is equal to the antiderivative of g of x times y1. So let's see, g of x is e to the 2x over x squared times y1, so that's times e to the 2x, over the Ronskian, so that's going to be e to the 4x, dx. So let's see what we get there. We have a similar simplification. The e to the 2x's in the numerator will cancel this e to the 4x in the denominator. And this will leave us with the antiderivative of 1 over x squared dx. And its antiderivative is minus 1 over x. Okay. So there we have uh, v1 and v2. So I'll go ahead and clean up the board and then we'll write a summary of the solution. Okay. So just to finish it off, as a reminder, uh, earlier we calculated that y1 was e to the 2x, y2 was x e to the 2x, so those form a solution set for the homogeneous differential equation, and then v1 is minus natural log and v2 is minus 1 over x. So that means our general solution is given by c1 e to the 2x plus c2 x e to the 2x plus y1 v1, so that will give us minus natural log of x e to the 2x, good, and then plus uh, v2 y2, so that will give us minus e to the 2x. And that's our final solution.